I am Dado. Today we talk about our complete range of LED lights. Now here we want to remind you of some of the LED lights that we already have. We want to introduce some new LED fixtures and give a preview of other future LED lights which we've already tested and those are now in the final tooling stages and will be in production by autumn of this year. Now we start with our multi-LED panel lights. We're already selling our multi-LED panel lights in incredible numbers. We have co-engineered these in 27 different versions. Their main features are higher light output, in the standard version, we have 35% more light than our competition. Half the power consumption, 24 watt instead of 50 watt. And when you're combining these two points, less power, more light, that should ring a big bell for those who intend to save the planet, go green and talk about sustainability. We have good color rendition in all of its new implications, from RA average to R9 and R13 skin tone values. Now, when we want to compare and evaluate LEDs versus other light sources, then those are subjects on which we have a lot of experience and separate information in writing and on video. Today, we just want to mention some of the key issues being mainly that many of the white phosphor LEDs today show a pretty bad color rendition index, usually around CRI 74. On our multi-LED panels, we're not yet perfect, but with a CRI around 84, we're many steps better than most others. Other particular benefits? The V-mount is included, or optional anti bower mount. A mount even for NPF Sony batteries on the standard version. Now this option is disabled on the high output and bicolor versions because that would draw too much power. Many of the control options include fully dimmable, with no color change, by a plug-in dimmer, which is also removable or can be operated by cable. DMX control, wireless control, and soon these lights will be fully rainproof. Our pricing offers such excellent value for money that we call these lights Feloni because of their criminally low price. Other versions of multi-LED panels with bigger surface, much higher light output, and some extra options for mobile and studio work are underway. Today, we're introducing more focusing Dado Light LED fixtures. Let's start with the DLED 4.0 that has state-of-the-art LED light source with some features particularly developed for Datolight. Datolight patented aspherical optics, and those provide astounding high light efficiency, unprecedented focusing range, wider, tighter. Datolight clean beam concept, that is controlled precision beam with no stray light outside, no unwanted shadows, perfectly even light distribution within the beam. Good color in tungsten, daylight, and bicolor versions. Complete light shaping control, starting with precise barn door shadows. Now those are functions that you do not find on many other LED panels, and Usually they're limited in their function on some other focusing LED light fixtures because those may have part-type parabolic reflectors. 
Of course, we have scrims, unique as that we have for all of our lights, graduated gray filters, and we have the excellent data light imager, the projection attachment, which serves for light framing, soft edge light framing with eye filters, gobo projection, background effect projection, and even slide projection. Very soon, this will be an entire range of focusing data light LEDs. Starting with the little Ledzilla, the onboard light, which already has been sold in multiple thousands all over the world. The next size up will be the DLED 2.0. More than double the power of the Ledzilla, still can be powered by the smallest Sony battery. DLED 4.0, which we're introducing today in the mobile version as well as in the studio version. And that also features if you wanted DMX control. The next size will be DLED 9.0, suitable for studio application and mobile. And the biggest one we're showing today is the DLED 12.0. All of these lights will be offered in tungsten and daylight versions. Most of the mobile lights will also be available as bicolor making it a perfect match with our bicolor LED panel lights. Now the question is, does this make our previous lights obsolete? Let me ask, what do you expect from LEDs? LEDs are still an emerging technology. We are at the leading edge and in combination with our patented data light optics, we have some new and exacting tools. So, what do we expect? High light output. To some extent that is true. But today we still have to mention a certain trade-off between very good color and lower output and highest possible output with lower color rendition index. We expect low energy consumption. Again, that is true to some extent. Most of the halfway usable LED light sources today provide 60 lumen per watt. The traditional low voltage data light halogen lamps were already giving us up to 40 lumen per watt. Metal halide lamps, usually daylight lamps, give us 80 lumen per watt. And that is the same high output as we're getting from the unique Datolight tungsten metal halide lamp that you may not even have heard about. Also 80 lumen per watt. Professional fluorescent lamps give 80 lumen per watt. These days, decent LEDs give you about 60 lumen per watt. And if you want closer to perfect color rendition, the trade-off is in lower efficiency, down to 40 lumen per watt or even lower. In comparison, most of the traditional light sources give us a much more reliable full-spectrum color rendition, fulfilling the demands of the professionals for a CRI value above 90. Today, that is still difficult to find in LEDs, in particular with daylight LEDs. Now, what are the possible and unique benefits of LEDs? For example, bicolor, being able to change over from daylight to tungsten on our bicolor panel fixtures and on our bicolor focusing fixtures. With traditional data lights, you could already do that. In our Sundance kits, for focusing lights as well as soft lights, by changing the lamp from daylight to our unique tungsten discharge lamp. However, with bicolor LEDs, you can do just that 
by a simple flick of the button. Another advantage is the full dimming with little or no color change. Most people expect from LEDs that they should produce no heat. Should we call this a blatant lie? It is true that the forward heat of LEDs is low, but the heat generated on the LED is still about 85 to 90 percent of the energy consumption versus 85 percent or 90 percent of heat generated with halogen lamps. Thus you will find that heat is still a major problem with LEDs and cooling is incredibly difficult either making it necessary to employ huge cooling systems or supermodern cooling technologies which are not always applicable for professional demands in studios. So how does all of this rank in view of the traditional dado lights? With the classic dado lights we have always been extremely eco-friendly by having double the light output from our low voltage lamps in comparison to the studio halogen lamps. Combined with our revolutionary optical system, this provides for higher efficiency, much further reach of our precision lighting instruments, combined with drastically low power consumption. Thus, We've been riding the eco train from the beginning, combined with the fact that our low voltage lamps cost only one quarter of the equivalent high voltage lamps and live many times longer, making it most probably the most economical lighting system on earth. Now it remains to be seen how this fares in the long run versus LEDs when considering the relatively high purchase price of LED fixtures and the uncertainty about their color and output consistency. As far as precision and light shaping control is concerned, the only competition that the traditional dado lights will have are our own dado light LED fixtures which we're introducing now. However, I would expect that our traditional lights will have a serious place in professional world for a long time to come. And right now we're witnessing increasing sales numbers for our traditional lights. Our dedicated soft lights so far are absolutely unequaled by any other lighting system especially when considering the creative character of our Panaura fixtures. Concluding, I would like to say that our new LED lights I would rank among the best possible because of the combination with the proven dado light aspherical optics, simply adding another highly sophisticated range of tools for the professionals who will have to choose which of these lighting instruments are best suited for their purposes, their demands in image creation, and for particular subjects to be lit. On each of the subjects mentioned here, we will have separate videos going much deeper into detail. So watch out for those if you're interested to learn. And I thank you. I'm Dado.